Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. All right. Now, we all know, uh, allegedly, uh, Travis Scott assaulted a gentleman in a New York City nightclub. But now the gentleman is speaking out. Now he's speaking out from his hospital bed, and this is what the gentleman Damn. said. I was trying to tell him to lower it so he, he uh, so it sounded good for the performance. But uh, uh, he just stuck his middle finger in my face. So I lowered the monitor a little bit so I could talk to him. And that's when he ran around the speaker and attacked me. Obviously, my neck is up. Your neck, your arm, what's happening with your arm? Oh, my arm is tingling. I have uh, pins and needles going down it. Oh, man. go! You know where you going. Hey, come on, man. You my neck with it. and my back. I slipped and I fell. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. You know where he's going with it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm hurt. Smokey, I'm hurt. I want 150000 but we can settle right now for $20,000. <laughs> yes. He did a conversation straight out of the hospital, straight in his bed. You know, his hospital bed, which is, hey. It do you, bro? Do hey, man. And then, and then I saw some. There was a video yesterday or something, right? I saw something. No, oh, the video. Nah, there's no video, there's of, no video? of the, the actual saw, assault. And not the assault. I saw some video where they Travis was somewhere with somebody and he pushed somebody away. I guess it was from the same venue. Really? No, yeah. he, he threw the phone. He smacked the guy's phone. That's what you seen. I ain't see that. Yeah, now nah, he he hit the guy's phone. It wasn't like crazy, but he, he hit the guy's phone. Oh my god! Now Marlon Wayans, he has a I'm new uh, comedy special out right now. Uh, it's called Slapgate, all right? And he has a couple of jokes. You want to hear one joke? Let's I hear it. I thought it was called God Loves Me. I look over and who is it? Chris Rock. <laughs> and this was Chris Rock before the money Chris Rock. Like, he looked f***ed up. <laughs> he had a jerry curl, but didn't have enough money for all the grease. So it was like dry jerry curl, but he had a shag, so the grease would drip onto his shoulders. <laughs> And he was like three different color black. I don't know what this. <laughs> and it wasn't an even black. It was different. It was iridescent. It looked like eggplant black, you know, dull black. He looked like Charlemagne the God three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. My neck. My <laughs> neck. My <laughs> neck and my back. Oh, I'm hurt. I want 150,000, but we can set a lot of court right now for 20,000, Marlon. <laughs> <laughs> and it is called, what's, what's the name of the special? God Loves Me. It's called God Loves Me. Luther Marlon Wayne. Remember one time, this was years ago, this was about, oh man, this had to be like 11, 12 years. No, it was longer. This had to be like 14, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And me and Marlon Wayne was going back and forth on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And Marlon said, I look like a bruised eggplant. What are you talking about? That was, I think that might have been the first tweet that ever hurt my feelings. <laughs> that hurt <the> feelings. <laughs> a bruised, what the hell is a bruised egg? Think about what a bruised eggplant would look like. That's wild. <laughs> That's wild. I can't wait to watch that this weekend. A lot of good comedy this weekend. Marlon Wayans, God loves me. Chris Rock this weekend too, right? The live one? The live one's not this weekend? I thought the live one was this weekend. I think it is. Did I make weekend. this up? Did I make that it's up? It's today. It's today. Yeah, it's today. No, tomorrow. not today. It's tomorrow. 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 Yep. tomorrow. Yep. Now he also talks about, of course, the infamous slap some more. I think she put a spell on that nigga. She had a men in black voodoo doll underneath her chair. Cause that motherfucker out of nowhere, he just changed his whole shit up. So we saw her roll her eyes up in her head, but that ain't what she did. She put a spell on him. She went <laughs> And the ghost of Tupac Shakur possessed Will Smith's body. And then he said, we're sorry. Yes, yeah, so you can definitely check that out. <laughs> God damn, man. And lastly, I oh, mean... I'm talking about, I wonder how Will Smith feels. Because he's like, damn, I just had to slap somebody for talking crazy about my family. And y'all keep going in? They keep going. It's not going to stop. It's, not, it's never, it's never going to stop. Think about it. It was Eddie Murphy. Now it's Marlon. It's Chris Rock. It's, it's not going to stop. Well, like, did I not slap him hard enough? Should I have punched him? <laughs> should I have done more? <laughs> should I have kicked him? You're like, what should I have done? Damn. Jesus. And lastly, we got to talk Ricky Smiley. Now, uh, we reported about a, a month ago. Uh, January 29th, that his son had passed away. His son was a comedian as well, 32 years old. And yesterday he spoke about his son passing. His girlfriend called. She said, text Brandon at this number or call him. So I called nobody to answer. I called her back. I said, is everything okay? She was crying. And she said that, uh, in her words, she said that he had OD. Had there been a, a history of, of drug use that, that you knew about? Uh, yeah, he was struggling with that. We had uh, 
his mm. mother and I made several attempts to send him to get the help that he needed, send him to rehab. And we thought that he was doing better. He had just joined the church, he had just got baptized mm. again, probably a month before he passed away. And uh, I, he went in, um, just he used and it killed him. Uh, but we haven't got a toxicology sure. report yet. So this is just what we're speculating according to his girlfriend who, who found him yeah. uh, unresponsive. Damn. Man, God bless that brother Ricky Smiley, man. Mm -hmm. I don't wish that on nobody because, you know, as parents, all we're doing is the best we can. But kids, you know, they, they get older, they make their own decisions, their right. own choices, and sometimes, you know, those choices lead to outcomes like this. And now the parents have to live with that, yeah. you know, for the rest of their lives. So yeah. It's just like I don't wish that kind of trauma, that kind of pain, that kind of hurt on nobody. No, nah, absolutely. And, and and again, like we always say, definitely sending him uh, healing energy mm -hmm. and condolences to his family. Mm -hmm. His uh, I think he said his wife was girlfriend, his family, his his kids, his the mother of the of, 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 his, of, of his of his son. Yeah, it's yeah, just man. a lot. Well, well nah. And that is your rumor report. Now, when we come back, we got front page news. Angela Rye is here. Angela Rye, what are we talking about Andy in front Ryan page daughter. news? Oh, you know, just a little Women's History Month and a little Joe Biden. All right. Shout out to all the women up here, too. I see man, them running around, to all man. the women, man. Salute to all the women that, you know, work here at the Breakfast Club. We love and appreciate y'all doing Women's History Month. Yes, yeah, Sydney, Sim, Sim, uh, Taylor. That's right. All right. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Front page news is next. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.